as you can see, I'm playing um, System Air Civilization Beyond Earth. This got released for Linux this week. Uh, I pre-ordered it, so I've had it for a few days. Um, I've played one game, I don't know, about three or four hours. I wasn't winning, I don't think, even though I had it really easy. But I'm going to start a new game here. Um, I'll show you, show you the start of the game. Show you the start of the game, uh, the various selections you make, and uh, you know, get going, and then I'll cut to much later on. So the story is basically follows on from the end of civilization. You've uh, various various people on Earth are uh, have uh, built spaceships to escape the failing planet, and you're all going to land on some new planet and start the fight for resources all over again. Uh, right then, so there's a lot more um, customization than there is in civilization, and that you select all these different components of your your team. Uh, which which then have an impact on how you're playing. So I can choose what sort of colonists will I have, and I think I will go for. Let's see. Let's go for engineers because I like producing things. And you can choose a, a spacecraft that you you flew to the planet with, which gives you a different starting bonus. Let's see. I went for um, Continental Surveyor last time, which was actually quite handy. Let's see. Let's go for the energy thing this time. And let us begin with laboratory. Okay, so we can choose a target planet. This is um, yeah, much like the map star select screen in Civilization Five. Oh, we started. So that's the game started. Apart from being, you know, completely different technologies and, and all that, so the gameplay is quite a lot like Civilization V if you've got the uh, expansion packs, the Gods and Kings and the um, the Brave New World, and that trade is quite important. There's a more story story driven aspect I guess you'd call it, although it's not obviously it's not a story, it's it's the game. The game has different factions that compete and the story sort of naturally arises out of it, which is quite interesting. Uh, hopefully we'll see some of those bits later on. I only really want to film for the first uh, about ten minutes here. But I'll probably just keep recording anyway in case anything exciting happens. Hello, I am the Advanced Integration and Simulation Resource, or Advisor. I am equipped to introduce you to the basic systems that will guide your development on this new planet. Which is good. Additionally, I can provide strategic advice based on situations you encounter. How would you I'm like going to go do for new to be on Earth advice only? Select a suitable location for our people to make planet for. This will be the site of our first great city. Select a plot within the red border to land. That looks like the best spot. Explorer. 
Let's just send them exploring. That's the easiest thing. Yeah, what does an old earth relic do? So, you, you have various advisors like you do in Civilization 5. I'm going to go for the culture to start with. And the research front, right, so this this is different. provides a bird's eye view of the technologies that may be discovered and how they are connected. Technologies come in two types, brother. All right, thank you. This is different to the way the technology tree works. Although, you know, I suppose they could have written it out that way. I'm starting with, I've got habitation, which means I can research these major elements, and once I research the major ones, I can also search these sort of child ones. So it is essentially a tree. If we scroll around, we can see, uh, see it spreads far and wide. So again, we've got recommendations. So, economic advisor, science advisor. I like these things that give me energy and production. So I'm going to go with the military advisor on this one. Oh, let me scroll right, and on we go. See here so far. I'll explore will find something in a minute, I've no doubt. Oh, there's some coastline there. Maybe. A rival faction has landed and founded a sissy. And I've discovered a resource pod. Let's see what deal we've got. Oh, I can't do anything useful yet. Discuss. No, there's nothing useful I can do at the minute. So we'll just leave it to it. Goodbye, Diamond. So we found a resource pod. Let's go and have a look at that. I have something that needs your attention. So we'll cancel the automation there, so I can go and investigate the resource pod. See, there are resources. This is ferraxite. These are resin, floating stones. These things are all, you know, their, their resources are fruit. There we go. Tubers. Chitin. Resources in the same way you get resources in Civilization V. They're just alien resources. Uh, the miasma is, is uh, an alien fog, which you have a new quest available. Causes, causes you to, right, to, to a minute, cause you to lose health if you leave a unit in the miasma. Uh, later in the game, you can clear the miasma once you've got a particular technology. But some civilizations get upset about that. So, this may be helpful. The quests are the way this, the sort of a story element is built onto the traditional civilization model. So I've been given a quest to find an outpost and research research pioneering is done because that was my starting starting technology and now I've got to build a colonist. So I've got one quest. I have no victories so far. So first of all, let's move move Mr. Man over here to the resource pod. Hey, free energy. 
Falls my city has two citizens. I can build a colonist. I can probably also purchase something useful. Let's see. Now oh, another explorer. I'll wait till I've got 270 and purchase a clinic to improve my health and science. Get him back to auto explore, so I don't have to worry about it. Let's see, there's another, another nation landed on the side of me. How may the corporation serve you? What's the deal? Impossible. Uh, no, no wonder. Goodbye. Oh, I can develop a virtue. So this again is like um, like Civilization V, the, the culture culture approach. And what can I do? Science when healthy. So I was in, I was acquiring tasks fast, wasn't I? So I'm going to go for this to start with. Yes. Skilled resource pod. Hey, there we go. Right, let's unautomate him and go to the next turn. Oh, another nail. Come, Mr. Haban. The Commonwealth welcomes you. That's nice to know. Uh, quest updated, so I've got a quest decision. I want to open to the public, so you get a choice which lasts for the whole game, which has an impact, and these, these happen for many things you build, you get bonuses on them, and you can choose the bonus you want. I've completed a quest. So nice. Yeah, I've got another one. Let's try to domesticate the wildlife. So I chose eradicate last time, which is why I then came into came into conflict with another nation that presumably had chosen Ooh. 20 culture excellent there's our first alien I don't know what we'll get to do with them so I'm going to speed up my outpost growth let's see what happens will the aliens attack me Ooh. You have discovered a station. You can assume. Thank you. So stations work like city states in Civilization V. I can attack them up. Contact that one. Attack that one. Right, you need need orders. So let's go back to automatically exploring. See where we get to. So that's all these with civilization type games. I have something that needs your attention. Alright, artifacts. These are also interesting. An ultimate him again. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in nature. You should 
Well, there you go. Thanks for explaining that. So here's here's the thing we can pick up, and here is the um, artifact which we'll construct an expedition on very shortly. I'm going to move there. Ooh, bonus science. That's nice to know. I'm going to move over there. One of our units has walked into a cloud of strange oh, alien that's me I was talking about. Listen. Oh, free working unit. Go. So, let's have a look. Where are we going to want to build? By the coast somewhere? Go in that general direction. I've completed a quest. What quest is I complete? All right, that one. I remember. See, he's lost health from my asthma, but we can construct an expedition. In so we can cross the river when my satellite gets built in nine to sorry, colonist. Get it right. So I'll skip through a few turns now, and I might have a chance of getting my initial 10 minute portion of the video done in less than, less than 20 minutes. I always say it's longer than you think, civilization games. Sputnik, Slavianska Federacja pozdrawia je tybie. I can't remember what that means. It means something nice like hello, doesn't it? Alright, we've got a road there. How long will the plantation take? Six turns. So let's just uh, carry on Ooh, and build some more road. Hopefully find somewhere to put the setter in six turns time. Your explorer has discovered something wonderful. So my explorer discovered something. Gosh, interactive device has made a glowing stone. Ooh, so I'll get free nanotechnology. The first thing I need to do is move him out of the miasma and then let him heal up a bit. Instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets. Instruct them to dream of infrastructure. Excellent. So, I've got enough to buy that... Um, buy that clinic now. So I'm going to do that. And on the virtue front, I'm going to go for industry now. We'll get to those in a minute. And what shall we search next? So now I can go down here into these things, or I can find something else. Genetics. Well, Trust me, I like computers, but we're not, I've got a coastal city yet, so there's not much point in doing that. So let's follow the science advisor's advice this time, since everybody else has had something to play with so far. And let's trundle up towards that a bit. Oh, no, we didn't make it under 20 minutes. But still, nearly that. Oh, 
they get to be by the coast. This go Warren. The African people greet you. Ah, plenty for all. Yeah, right. Heard that before. You can found an outpost with your colonists. Outposts eventually grow into cities. Right. So that's the last thing we want to cover right now. Let's go and investigate this. 40 energy. Bonus. So, let's see. Let's just pull the road there. Where usually you get little... Well, I come just to show you where it recommends you build. Yeah, it's quite a long way away. It recommends them build. It's like seven turns away. I'm going to put my next colonist where it says. For now. Let's make it a bit closer to the hand. Canyons, you can't cross the canyons. An alien skeleton there. Let's just move up. Move up the road. And we'll see what's in this direction. What should we build now? Build a trade depot so we can do trade. Work the same as um, Brave New World. Ah. Another resource pod. Excellent. We're waiting. Again, it's actually, look reasonably promising this direction. Oh, quest update. Kill the siege worm. Yeah, not with not with that. I'm not going to. found a city, they don't immediately, they're not immediately cities, they're outposts, and you have to protect them while they, while they uh, grow into an actual city that produces things. So that's, that's a major change from um, Civilization 5. You plant your outpost down, and then you leave it, leave it to it, and the growth of the outpost is shown here. Two turns, so it's a zero. I need to wait for the other one because I chose the uh, the option to get much higher. So I'll just skip forward. We've probably got time. Current exploring over here. Trade routes. Thank you. And then I can build a trade convoy. So let's go for it. And, um, yeah. I should now get my outpost upgraded. 
I have something that needs your attention. Good to know, but my health is pretty good at the minute. I'm going to the Osman again. Your explorer has mm. noticed something strange nearby. Found something. Mm. I'm tempted to go to that, but obviously it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be any fun if all the decisions were easy. Let's go for the science. Okay. Oh, that'd be why it wasn't recommending we uh, do trade with them. this alien artifact that my guy spotted. Oh there. Oh it's a long way away. Because I can't cross the ravine. Bit of a problem. to get a full science per turn. Keep exploring over here. And now let's build a thorium reactor. Now my outpost is a real town, isn't that nice? So we'll start with, how's my health doing? It's doing alright, so let's start with the culture. And there we go. So my 10 minutes initial video is nearly half an hour long now. Uh, I've established connection there. So I'll leave it there for now. And uh, I'll play the game, I'll play on about, you know, uh, half an hour, 45 minutes an hour maybe and uh, come back and we'll see what's going on so I'm a bit more advanced in the game leave it, leave it there for now ok so this is an interesting moment I've moved my explorer to a site of a relic but what I forgot to do was nip back to one of my cities to pick up an expedition module. So that was a wasted trip. I'm going to set him to go back. Go back here. I'm going to activate my soldier and have him chase off after 
my uh, my new colony. So this is another interesting moment. Um, last time I played, the, I was in opposition to uh, Daeming Satua because I was killing aliens everywhere. But she now uh, is pleased because we're sharing a benevolent approach towards aliens. But this is interesting because if you look at the quest log, uh, how do I get to the quest log? There we go. Um, one of my quests is to kill 10 aliens. So my explorer is back and he had a module and so I'm able to construct an expedition which will be ready in uh, five turns I think. So here we've uh, discovered uh, an alien skeleton. This is my expedition has um, has um, excavated it, and we've gained ourselves an alien raptor bug. It's a free unit for investigating that. There he is. So I'm going to try moving him over there. Off he goes. Good man. Because you've earned an affinity point in either purity, simplicity, or harmony, you can now choose an upgrade for your soldiers. Once you choose an upgrade, all of your soldiers will instantly adopt this upgrade and change appearance. You can upgrade additional unit types as you earn higher levels of affinity. Okay, so as you just heard, I've uh, used affinity and harmony. Our engineering groups have discovered which allows me to upgrade uh, all my units. So let's look at the upgrade. This may be helpful. Choose uh, healing or attacking. So I'm going to choose healing. Well, my soldiers will heal faster now. <laughs> so that'll be nice for them. Okay, so here I have my opportunity to build my first wonder because I've researched computing. The spy agency. I think everyone gets to build that wonder. It's one of those sort of wonders. Um, yes. Right, carry on. Build a network. Let's build a farm lab. Boost my health. So I've got a spy, um, these are a bit more flexible than, uh, than spies used to be in civilization. Have you got them? I'm going to go for uh, propaganda and increase my health because my health is a bit low. So I'm on to my next biggest city. I'll sign one, two. 
to my new neighbour, see what's going on. There we go. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I declared war at the request of my ally. Oops. As Adam Smith said, trade is the lifeblood of nations. And I'm being offered an axiom. Which I'm not really sure what it does. I'm going to accept it. Let's see. We are agreed. Oh, Axiom, it's a city. Here's me thinking an Axiom. An Axiom was, uh, was uh, an actual logical Axiom. There you go then. So this is quite interesting. I've received an extra covert agent for completing a request. And uh, by delivering some documentation, the man who received the documentation had a strange tattoo on his hand. There we go, delivered the secret dossier. No village was ever ruined by trade. What a son. So this is an interesting aspect of the uh, trades in uh, Civilization Beyond Earth. Is um, you can build up favours. gets me. I presume I can use it somewhere, somewhere later in the game to uh, get something out of it. I bring forth myself. I shall be the ever born and the never dead. So I've completed a wonder that isn't I don't think it is civilization complete. Um, civilization. Uh, it's not one of the ones that every civilization gets built, it's an actual one that's unique across the game. Uh, much the same as civilization 5 in that respect. I'm getting more food out of my farms, which is fortunate I started building some really. Cognition in the human brain should not be of elevated status because it is implemented in cells instead of silicon. And now uh, I can build another one. Wow. I'm now just uh, coming up to 
Well, the next turn will be turn 200. Fairly dominant position, as we expected, since I did it on easy. There we go. Although it's not like I'm, you know, ruling the whole world, I think I'm just ahead of everybody else. Turn to process. And let's review the situation. Okay, let's just do my uh, cheese production. We'll develop virtue. We're going to invest in our stock card energy. See, I've, uh, I'm enjoying nature's bounty. Extra health. That's all going very well. Let's just uh, have a toggle between all of you. I've not this got any satellites. View. Thank it you. So it's not much good to me at the minute. Quests and victories. Uh, so I can't do that yet. I've not killed any siege worms. I've got to build a Xeno Sanctuary building in Syrah. Yeah, I could probably do that right now. No, or maybe I need to actually um, get the Xeno Sanctuary. Now I do have an upgrade available. I think it's uh, for this. But I can't unlock it yet because I don't have the correct... I don't have enough affinity. See, I've only got four harmony affinity. So, review my covert ops. I have a cadre of experienced uh, intelligence operatives. Siphon energy and steel science. We'll see how it goes. Let's have a look at my virtues. We've just seen that. I'm going for prosperity and industry rather than might or knowledge. Diplomacy. Um, I'm doing quite well as, as, far as, as far as that's concerned. If I only favours. And uh, yeah, I've built four wonders. Yeah, so next, the next best one is, is these people, I think. On the wonders front. Deal history. Several, several deals outstanding. I've completed a few deals. So here, I think, yeah, that's that's the whole thing now. I just review my empire. So I'm fairly well established in this continent. And obviously, uh, I go for a slightly more spread approach. Then I also. And also have 
Uh, Axiom was the system that was gifted because I declared war on somebody and then really had nothing to do with them. And then I've uh, quickly established a couple of other outposts on the same on the same island, just so uh, won't be isolated. So there we go. So turn two hundred. This is this is about about four hours into the game. It's, it's Obviously, it's very similar to um, to Civilization. Uh, I can't say I actually played Alpha Centauri much, which is what most people think this is a spiritual successor to. I didn't really get on with it too well. As far as I found the technology tree not very intuitive. This this is it's a bit better. I can see sort of where it's going. I might just be. I might just be on more, uh, more mature these days, I can handle those sort of things better. This this whole um, getting virtues complicates everything a little, but it's, uh, it's an interesting twist. You need to get the virtues to do the upgrades and stuff like that. So that's what I'm, I'm going for at the minute. Uh, I think what I was researching. Transcendental I'm sure I wasn't researching transcendental math a minute ago. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't researching that. I don't know what's going on there. Pretty sure I was up here somewhere. That one. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was after, because that will give me more harmony, harmony affinity. I must have accidentally changed it. Anyway, yeah, it's quite it's quite a fun game. I'll, I'll probably have a few more goes. I don't know if I'll play it as much as Civilization Five, but if you uh, have a a sci-fi bent. And rather than historical, then this this may be the aim for you.